going on Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic time. So today's video, we are going to check out a brand new product and do an install. So let me show you what we got. We have a brand new product from Supery. And what this is, is a third brake light for Frostbite. We're gonna be replacing the factory third brake light that I personally painted uh, years ago, actually. We painted my factory one black. Well, today we're gonna replace it with one that really looks cool and very, very affordable. Super E has a awesome third brake light that does two things, actually three things. One, it's tinted black, like I want. That's why I painted mine. Two, it has LED strip for your cargo lights, so it'll have a uh, it'll have a white LED strip for your cargo lights when you flip on the cargo light, and then it has a strip of red LEDs for the actual brake light. So that is badass, and I can't wait to get this thing on, test it, see what it looks like. Let's get it unboxed. couple cards in here. There is contact information if you have any issues, email, phone number, that sort of thing. So that right there is pretty badass. So if you have an issue, you actually have a phone number to call um, to be able to get a hold of somebody. But I don't believe we're going to have any issues as these things look very cool. As these things look like they're made very well and has some very good reviews. So anyway, here is the brake light. This is a direct replacement for the factory. Plug and play, bolts right on, and it comes with a new gasket already installed, which is nice, so you don't have to worry about trying to get a new gasket or any of that mess. Already on there for you, all you gotta do, take your old light off, plug this one up, screw it back on, you're good to go. So now let's get this protective cover off so you guys can really see what it looks like. Here we go. Very nice and dark. Like I said, this is the tinted lens and it has a very nice clean dark appearance. You can see the LED strips inside of it. And again, there's a row of two LED strips. One will be white for the cargo lights. One will be red for the brake lights. So enough jibber jabbering. Let's get my old one off, get this one on, test it out so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is my factory one. And this is the one that I painted. And I actually painted the entire thing. That's why it looks so dark. I have to admit, you know, I do like this. It's nice and dark, but the visibility and the light that comes out of this is pretty minimal. So I wouldn't say it functions very well, but it does look cool. Anywho, we're going to get this guy off. We're going to install one that will actually have a dark appearance like this, but will, last, but will also function. So let's get this thing off. Only tool you're going to need is your trusty old Phillips head screwdriver. And that's it. So let's get to it. Once you remove the two Phillips head screws, you'll be able to pull the third brake light out and you'll have an electrical connector that plugs into the cab's harness. So you'll unplug that and then your third brake light will come out. All right, old one is completely off. And again, that is what my old one looked like when I painted it. And this is the new Super E 
third brake light. So the new one we're going to install, this is my old one. As you can see, the Super E third brake light is very dark, but it'll function and you'll have lots of light actually get through this compared to what this one was like. And again, no modifications needed. Simply plug right into your factory harness and screw it back down and you're good to go. All right, so we're gonna plug this guy in. Simple snap in right there. Tuck the wire back here in the cab. Line up the holes. Thing looks good. Wipe these fingerprints off real quick. Hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that looks slicker than six kinds of snot, guys. That looks clean. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see what this thing looks like. Let's go put some lights on. We're gonna move this camera back here in the very back so we can see these LEDs a little bit better. There we go. All right, I'm gonna turn the cargo lights on first. Heck yeah. Don't know if the camera's doing much justice there. Let me try to get a different angle, but man, that looks freaking awesome. That is the LEDs. For the cargo lights. And they are bright. Heck yeah. All right, now we're gonna hit the brake pedal, turn off the cargo lights. I can see them beating off the gr Heck yeah. I can barely see from over here. I wish I had somebody to press the brake pedal for me, but I can tell they are definitely bright, that's for sure. Heck yeah, guys. That right there is bad to the bone. When you unlock the truck or the lights on the actual truck comes active, the white LEDs will light up. That definitely looks cool. And the white LEDs will actually go dim when you have the key on. Try to get another angle here with the brake lights. Definitely pretty neat. Definitely dark. Looks clean. Definitely going to give this modification a thumbs up. 30 bucks. Looks good. The lights are very bright. And best of all, it just looks good and it works. So there you have it, guys. Super E third brake light installed on frostbite i'm happy it looks clean the lights are very bright the red leds for the brake light is super bright the cargo light is much brighter than the stock bulbs especially 
in my application because I painted over it all to make it dark. But bolts right in, fits like a glove, plugs in, super, super simple modification to do. $30 on Amazon. The link for that third brake light will be in the description of this video. So if you're interested in one, click on the description. Link is right there. Also, this is the card that they send you with the third brake light. And it has information on it, like email, phone number, if you have issues, that sort of thing. So definitely legit company and they make lots of products. They got all kind of HID stuff, bulbs, lights, lots of Jeep stuff, lots and lots of stuff. Go check them out. I'm curious. Not sure if they offer any headlights and brake lights for the Ram trucks yet, but I'm gonna go check it out because I'm kind of interested in some tail lights for Frostbite because as you guys know, the rear tail lights on the truck right now is also painted like I did the third brake light. So if I could get a set of lights that look like that third brake light, I think that would be absolutely awesome. So other than that guys, as always stay safe out there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.